This is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoes Software. I want to show you uh, an exciting update we have for our Smart Card Utility app for iOS. Um, it allows you to use your Smart Card um, with built in applications such as Safari on iOS devices. So um, if you have a uh, um, an iPhone or an iPad that you want to use your PIV smart card, um, you can use the uh, this smart card utility to be able to inject the or insert the um, credentials from here or reference to them. And so then you would insert your card whenever you get to these websites or anytime you want to authenticate. So um, let me show you how that works. Um, we do need a physical way to plug in this uh, smart card into the iPad and what we did is we added support for the Facian readers and so we have two readers I'm going to show you today the first one is the um, IR301U which is USB uh, or I'm sorry lightning um, that allows you to um, insert this into the bottom of the iPad it's got a nice slot on the bottom that you plug in the, uh, the smart card into and then plug this into the bottom of the iPad um, the other, the second reader I'll show you is the BR301 BLE, and what that is is a Bluetooth version of the reader, and this is what it looks like. It's got this, uh, um, uh, it's, it's basically a sled where you insert your smart card into it, and it's got some LEDs in the bottom and a power button to allow you to um, uh, insert your card that way. This works great for you if you have an iPad that has USB-C so you don't have the lightning port to use the other types of reader or if you want to use the lightning port to be able to use power to be able to um, power to be able to keep that connected while you use the reader. So either one works. Um, though I do believe the physical one has a uh, power charger on the side so you can do power if you want to but um, if you have a USB-C iPad you would need to use the Bluetooth one. So either one works. Some people like the physical connections as well. So let me show you how this works. First thing I'll do is I will launch um, the smart card utility. And smart card utility has uh, um, an option to scan in uh, and read the um, smart card. So I'll tap on scan and I'll choose facing reader. You don't need to specify whether it's lightning or Bluetooth. It'll, it'll discover either one that's plugged in. So I hit scan. So I'll go ahead and turn this on and see the LEDs come on. And then it should pop up and show me the, uh, the reader. There it is. And I'll select it. And from there, it'll read in the certificates and present them to me. And I can actually look at them. I have a certificate and, uh, in slot 9A and 9E, so I can view these certificates if I want to. But the real exciting uh, feature is this insert button. So when I tap on insert, what it will do is it will insert the certificate um, into the system. So it can be used by Safari and any apps that use the built-in certificates. Um, and it'll do the authentication through the, to the smart card. So if I tap on test, it'll open up a test website um, and try and do certificate-based authentication using the certificates on that smart card. So I'll tap on um, PIV key and then I'll put in my PIN and then it'll go ahead and authenticate to this website. And there we go. So it's now uh, zoomed in. You can see that it has information about my smart card um, that did the other authentication or the certificate that's on the smart card for um, that website. Um, so that's... Uh, very uh, great way to use it. So if you have a website that requires uh, you to authenticate with your smart card, you can use this and use the built-in Safari instead of some other piece of software that's required. So you get all the updates that come with the OS and all the advantages to it. So it's a great way to, to use your smart card to do it. So we have uh, support for uh, uh, the Lightning Reader as well. So let me show you how to, how to do that. So let me, let me go back to Smart Card Utility. And I will do uh, go back and I'll just remove all. Um, so it removed those identity. I'll go ahead and turn this off because I don't want to um, have the reader. You can have both readers connected if you wanted to, but that's not uh, great for the demo. So I'll take this and I will um, do the same, basically the same thing. I'll put my smart card in this reader. I'll tap on scan and I'll do face in reader and then I'll plug this in. All right, now I'll select that reader. And just like we had with the Bluetooth reader, it'll show me my certificates, same thing, same certificates, because it's the same smart card. Um, and, uh, oh, I forgot to actually insert into the system, so let me go back in and read it. Select it, and then tap on insert. So now I've inserted them into the system, again, like we did before, and I'll tap on test. All right, so I'll put in my pen. And you can see that it now views the certificate just like we had with the Bluetooth um, reader. So um, it does support both the Bluetooth and the uh, Lightning readers um, for um, 
being able to authentication through Safari. You can also use the built-in apps such as VPN or 802.1x or um, Mail. But my my uh, my guess is is that most people want, really want to do this for um, Safari and be able to get access to websites that require uh, smart card uh, authentication. So thanks very much for watching. This this new version is currently in beta. I'll put a link to it in the uh, comments below or in the description below. Um, and also, so you can join the beta and test it out. You will need one of these readers. Um, so I'll put a link as to where you can purchase these. They're not too expensive. Um, and you want to buy the right one. Um, any of the patient readers should work, but uh, it's, it, it's good to purchase the one that you want to, uh, that has the best functionality for you. So thanks very much for watching. And uh, please check out the beta and uh, give me any feedback you have. Thanks very much for watching and visit twocanoes.com for more information. Bye now.